Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Download, our second episode, where our first episode covered January and February, where we talk about our creator review of the month, uh, shows, anime, movies, streamer drama, or just internet drama in general, and everything under the sun that just comes to our minds. Hi, I'm Chelsea Bites. I'm a tech-based content creator who is about to start hosting again for Crown. I also host for the Party Chat podcast. I stream, make YouTube videos like this, and everything I can get my hands on. And I am joined by Mango. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, no introduction needed. Hey, everybody. Welcome, and uh, thank you for being in the presence of my manager who keeps it all together, including my sanity. Also holding down a full-time job. Imagine running two full-time jobs and also me and my husband uh, just had to gas you up just a little bit because you always tell me to gas you up. So, you're right. You're right. You're right. So, yeah. Just uh, just wouldn't operate without Mango. That that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I'll take it. Uh, Yeah. So, we're going to talk about the month of March since we've just... It's been like a week. It's almost a week since we've left March. It was an interesting month. It was an interesting month. You remember what we did in March? You remember? I know exactly what we did in March, actually. Okay, well, then you take this segment off. We're just talking about March events and what we did. This is, this is, this is about us? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. In the month of March, we had a photo shoot, an Anger Boda photo shoot with mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zesty Orange Photography. I Actually, I found them local here to Austin. Great photographer. Took us out to the mountains, thought she was going to kill us, but she didn't um, and ended up doing a great job. Uh, we had posted some of the pictures on the Instagram. We can probably link them in the description, but they look really good. You know, I think that uh, we we went and we did the we did the for the photo shoot. We actually just went to go pick the pictures from the photo shoot. Like we had already done it in like February. Was so in February, we played some Sons of the Forest with uh, Control All Quinn this month. As well as just Sons of the Forest in general, the game came out, so it's been a lot of fun. Also, Chelsea went to LA uh, for a you're allowed to, yeah you're allowed to talk about a Redfall event. A um, lot of fun. Apparently, I didn't get to go. I didn't have an invite. She got to go. We got our pictures that we took for Anger Boda signed by Laya De Leon Hayes, the voice actor for Anger Boda, which was really cool. Really, really cool. I've never interacted with like a working professional actor in that capacity. So it was neat. She was very kind. Yes. Yes, you have. But in that capacity, cool. like a right. fan right getting here. getting it. All right, so I'm going to take over. Um, and then right after that, I started a new job that I can't talk about yet, but it was really cool meeting up with a whole bunch of Twitch peeps. We got to do Twitch meetups on that same South by Southwest weekend. It was a full day affair. Uh, started. We did more Party Chat podcasts throughout this month as well. Had some interesting, very fun guests, so you definitely need to check those podcasts out. So... Finally, for our last event, we got to do the Legends of Noir Apex Tournament, which was put together by We Make Up Steam and also casted by We Make Up Steam and Infamous, Emphy, really great, love them both. And I also got to host with Gersades and it was quite the energy. I really enjoyed that whole tournament and people were popping off. Like if you want to see some real competition, like some real sweat, definitely watch that bot. It was really good. Yeah, actually it's, um, you know, Realm is uh basically a a group it's a 150k tournament uh a group or or i guess i i don't play apex but it's a ring of people that play together and compete for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. and people were talking about recently um i know we're not on april but recently people were talking about how um you know not a lot of black woman representation inside a realm right and, a um, lot of games yeah, but yeah. Just, specifically they were talking about this, and some of these women in this Legend of Noir tournament were ridiculous. They were ridiculously good, um, and and that's even comparing to, you know, other pro players, other like not just multi masters. Like these were like top, you know, mm-hmm. contenders. Obviously, so they would have I'd have been a bug under their boot. They were that nuts. They were yeah. They were moving in ways I didn't even know you could move in Apex. Yeah. 
So definitely well, some some people to look into. Oh yeah, life. They made me love Lifeline even more. Like they were doing things with Lifeline. I was like, oh, oh wow. We'll post the uh, we'll post the vod in the. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely. Yeah, we'll put the links in there. But now it's time to talk about some games that came out in March. Some that I played a lot that I didn't. So we're going to dive in. Um, Now, of course, there was Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. That's if you like horror stuff. I did not play that game, but it did catch my eye. Anything? Oh, yeah. The Dark Pictures Switchback VR. Uh, I don't know if that's an old one. But VR is starting to really just take over because I know they did a they did a PlayStation state of play and the beginning was mostly VR, but then it picked up with like Resident Evil 4 and all those other amazing games. So, yeah, VR is going to start making a, a a big entrance into gaming. But like, yeah, in March, I think the biggest thing that really just stood out. Yeah, it was Resident Evil 4, the remake. I, I can't really think of anything else that I was like so excited to play other than Resident Evil 4, the remake. I mean, mm. was there anything else that stuck out to you? Because I'm looking at this list and I'm just like, yeah, I didn't pick up any of that. Like, Not really. Not, yeah. I mean, Resident Evil 4 was such a giant tower <laughs> of of gaming Mm-hmm. that it's kind of it's kind of hard to compete really against anything else like you had a bunch of games that were coming out on other platforms that they previously weren't on like i know the last of us part one had some kind of re-release um i think sifu went to xbox mm-hmm. um yeah but the, yeah nothing really yeah. nothing that i would say competes with resident evil 4 it's too big of a release I mean, my sister was really excited for Bayonetta Origins, but that's like the only other game I was actually paying attention to. Yeah, man, games. I mean, April stacked, but we'll talk about that next month. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's pretty interesting to see what's gotten into April so far. Anime, shows, movies. There's like a short list of shows. And we haven't really been doing a lot of shows and movies. And let's just stick to uh, anime. Real succession. Quick. We'll talk about that in a second. But like okay. anime, what have we really been watching? Vinland Saga 2, em- Eminence in Shadow. Like that's really it. Like we even kind of dropped Boku no Hero. Um, yeah, we got to finish catching up with Boku no Hero. It, it is finally done and they are waiting on the next season to come out. But just, I don't know. The lead up to this last part of the season just hasn't really been catching our attention as much. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you said Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga is great. Oh, it's it, wonderful. Yeah. Every time it's about to come out, we're, it's a whole. We're watching it. We're up to yeah. date. I, Torfin is is like truly like I know Ranking of Kings. Everybody got excited for the announcement, and everybody's like, "Yeah, Boji's my son. I love Boji. He's gonna beat all the ops." But like Torfin is really going through it, and he's still he's still a child, like in so many ways. Like he's still very much. He he's like it's kind of sad that Anar is kind of like his stand-in like father figure. Like he's teaching him so many little. He doesn't see him as a father, but he's teaching him all the things that like his dad wanted to teach him, like how to enjoy life, how to uh, you know want to live again. Technically, technically, we did see mm, Demon Slayer. Right? Technically, is not out yet. But uh, 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 saw, how do you want to talk about that? I, I felt so dumb taking you to, <laughs> on on March fourth. On March fourth, yeah. which was Mango's birthday, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be so cool and take Mango to go see the Demon Slayer movie." And I knew, I knew if I had just looked it up and not a saw, like, "Oh yeah, you know, they're just gonna literally rehash the entertainment district like part, and then the just like one episode from the new season." I I would have been like, maybe we should wait, but they shouldn't even bothered. Like, just put that out as a special on Crunchyroll. It was a waste of time. Well, the new season starts coming out in uh, two days. Yeah, they should have just let it come out like a week before. Like, put the people who are paying extra could have watched the first few episodes a week before everyone else if they really wanted to be ahead. But a whole movie theater? No. I mean, I agree. I. It, yeah, it may, I enjoyed the experience. Oh, you fun. you have to say that because it was your birthday present. No, it it was no. Honestly, it was funny. It was really funny because we were sitting here like, <laughs> oh, okay, it's gonna be a recap, and then like, you just laughing at like, me. 
We're like, this is the whole episode. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you were just whole... tickled. You're like, Chelsea, what you doing? What you doing? What you, what's going on? What you got? I, I tried to surprise Mango with everything, and he's not great with surprises. So he's like, what we doing next? What we doing next? What's going on? And I think you were just like laughing that I had everything all like planned out. But honestly, because because you know April is the new start of the basically the next anime season, right? Yeah, so gonna it's be gonna be more. spring. So now. We're, we're on like the waning March is like the waning end of the previous season. Yeah, and because of that, like you know, there's some good stuff, but not too too much. People like starting at the beginning of the season. And so, we'll talk about all that amazing. I we will get there because there's been a lot of stuff. Blue Lock. Watch I'm not. I'm not into sports anime. So, but apparently, but you Blue speak Lock on that. Season. Yeah, I, I didn't watch Blue Lock because I'm not allowed to watch stuff that Chelsea doesn't watch. But, That's not true. You can watch whatever you want. But apparently, Blue Lock is quality. Then go watch it. Go watch it. Nobody's holding you down. Go watch it. You no, know, I've been told that I can't watch it. Nobody told you. You told yourself because I didn't say nothing. But there's also a new season of uh, Bo Fury coming out. <gasps> Seriously, when did they announce it though? In March? Um, no, it's been coming out. It's <gasps> coming out in March, and it's still coming out. They're on episode like eleven or so. What the? F- we've been, like, mi- we've been. Oh my god! You knew this. We talked. No, about this. no. Then I forgot yeah. because I do not remember an instance in my mind where we talked about both I mean, like, coming out. I think we liked the anime, but I, don't I think liked we, it. I don't no, no, we, we liked it. it to watch it. We watched yeah, it all the way we through. We didn't even like, pause. Like, we liked it, but not in the same way that we like Vinland Saga or Rankin. No, Kings. but we have been looking for good stuff to watch, I like, mean, you now. Then watch Tokyo Revengers. Is that good? Yes, it's quality. And you've brought it up before. You were like, oh, yeah, we should watch that. But, you, you know, it never comes. I saw, but then I listened to the intro and I was like, ugh. That was good. I, if I'm not mistaken, it for something else, I think Tokyo Revengers, the intro, like, switched. The song like switched so yeah. many like different. Yeah, I didn't like that. It, does. it, it switches. It, I, like it annoyed it. It annoyed me really quickly. So I was like, eh, never mind. I get that. Yeah, I mean that's your whole rule. If you like the the op, then it's a good anime. No, you're right. Yeah, I can generally tell like, oh, okay, I'm gonna like this. Like I'm I'm looking forward to uh, uh I, I've never pronounced it right. I thought Mashley or Mash or whatever. I've always just called it Mash. That's coming out soon. What is That's that? Coming out like today or tomorrow. It's basically like it's like if you took like Saitama mm-hmm. and, and Harry Potter uh-huh. and Mob Psycho and combine them all into like one character. You've seen it. It was the clip with the guy like lifting those heavy weights, like, right? Like really really fast. Wait. You saw it and you, you were like, what the hell? Yeah. Sure. 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 I, you know what? I'm going to have to revisit that one because I had, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I mean, since we have time, you know, you might, we might as well talk about the anime that's coming out for the next season because we got a little extra time. Okay. We're actually, we're doing Demon great. Demon Slayer. Yeah. Demon Slayer. Of course. The, the Swordsmith Village. Dr. I'm Stone. I'm to finally watch it. I'm just Dr. listening Stone. out. Dr. Stone, New World. And then we got Kona Suba. Mm-hmm. It's going to mm-hmm. be nuts. I'm excited for Kono Suba. You know, we've like basically shortened that. F- the actual name is Kono Subarashi I, yeah. Sekai Ni Bakon Yo. Like, I like whoa. I, I still but mispronounce they even it. Call it Suba in the I know, episode. just to shorten it. But it's still like, let's get it right. Let's get it right. I'm going to practice how to say it. Um, what else? Oh, like you were. Okay, I see this Mashley thing you were talking about. Yeah, Let me read the synopsis. Muscles, boy. Yeah. To everyone else. In his magic-dominated world, the young and powerless Mash Burn Dead is a threat to the gene pool and must be purged. Living secretly in the forest, he spends every day training his body, building muscles strong enough to compete with magic itself. However, upon having his identity exposed and his peaceful life threatened, Mash begins his journey to becoming a divine visionary, a role so powerful that society would have no choice but to accept his existence. So they're going the opposite route. It's since everybody's magic, I just got to be physically strong. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And it's not like an isekai. Nope. <laughs> when is Overlord coming back? That's all I care about at this point. <laughs> yeah, they're working on that movie. We're still waiting for that movie to come out. Yeah. Then we got Osama ranking or, you know, ranking of kings, which will be good. 
Um, there was that other anime that looked really creepy that I've been seeing on TikTok lately. I don't see it on this list right away. Is that not coming out in spring? What? The one where that guy was like lit on fire or something. Oh, uh, it started coming out already. Uh, Hell's Paradise. Are we just not weebs anymore? Like, what's I mean, happening? I for hey, I knew it was coming out. So why are you not cluing a, a Negro in? What's happening? I you didn't, you didn't say you wanted to watch it. Episode I've been seeing out. it. Okay, it's all right. Yeah. So I got a <laughs> traitor in my miss. Okay, so we'll 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 have to hop on that and actually talk about it for our next download. But yeah, I mean that's really about it. I can't really see anything else that's popping up unless I'm missing something. Mango. Anything nah, else I haven't main. asked about? Nah, that's the main ones. Okay, well, April looks like it's going to be fun. At least for Dr. Stone and Demon Slayer, at the very least, and Konosuba. Like, those are three big ones. Gotta finish uh, Boku no Hero so I can actually say that I finished it. And Golden just, Kamui. I'm not watching that anymore, man. I'm sorry. The good, the good stuff. Is there another season of that coming out? Mm -hmm. Are mm -hmm. you serious? Mm -hmm. It's the fourth. What do people, what do people see in that anime? That it's funny. It is, is it funny. just funny? Because like when I watched it in that first season, it was interesting. They got like they got to hunt down those people with the skins to find you know this treasure. Like? You know what it's like? It's like Gintama, where yes, it is funny and it has a lot of comedy moments but it can also get really serious and make really cool fight scenes and stuff like that mm -hmm. i guess my own my only problem with golden kamui is that they they teach you a lot of stuff and te teaching is fine i like learning stuff but the way they do it is really boring so i'm just curious to see if they kept that up because it bored the heck out of me like non-stop mm -hmm. in the beginning Bert, and that's why i Bertie stopped Wing it has a uh, season two coming out i don't know what that is but a golf anime do you watch golf anime i read the birdie wing manga wow i just learned something new about you every every episode and it's only been two episodes so like what am i gonna uncover after each I never, month i never went out of my way to uh what you call it? Uh, watch the wait. No, I didn't. I didn't. That's, that's this is not the right manga. Never mind. <laughs> Can't even trust yourself. Right, All I right. <laughs> y'all tell me how that near automata anime is going. I might watch it with y'all, but we, eventually we got to pick that up. But let's move on to our shows. Uh, let's talk about our shows. We just covered our anime. Um, Succession. Man, we haven't really been watching a whole bunch of shows, but Succession has had me in a grip. I finally caught up. I never caught up with it, man. Yeah, yeah, never watching it. The new season came out in March. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I just feel so when is when is Logan's luck going to run out, man? I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. And seeing all the dynamics between all the relationships, I feel like season 3 was when everything just kind of flipped. You know, That's like why it's not gonna run out because he's he's old and he's used to this. He he's been through this before. If you remember the scene where um, what were the names? The two guys, the two guys who were part of the company, the older guys, bald dude and the other guy bald who had the dude. panic attack when they were in the other country. Panic yeah. attack. You mean Carl and Frank? Carl and Frank. Carl and Frank were on the plane talking about um, you know what Logan's been through, and they were like. Yeah, he's been through stuff like this. They were like, this one's pretty bad, but oh, well, what about this time? What about this time? He's used to going through adversity like this. It's more, but he, he he's used to it. I, I don't think he's going to lose until the series ends. I think at, they'll they'll end the series by him losing at something, and that'll be it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what the goal of this show is, because I, I do find like it's entertaining. It's it's There's some comedy to it. But it's like really dark too. Like it's sad. Like when you get that kind of money and you know, you got the dad who you got an evil father. It's just no real family that you can have. Now I'm glad that like the siblings kind of bonded in this last season. It feels like he's gone through each sibling, like literally in a row. Like first he went through Kendall, then he went through uh Shiv, 
and then he went through uh, Roman. And they all had to kind of learn on their own not to trust him, just period, point blank period. And I felt bad, you know, especially for, like, I could see why Logan would get annoyed with his kids because they all did like little things that ticked him off, but he was just never satisfied either. Right. I, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't think anyone's right here, especially like with the whole like trial and, you know, all the horrible stuff that his company did. Like, let's not even get into cruises. Just yeah. saying the word cruises is like, it feels dirty now. Yes. <laughs> cruises. Yeah. I'm excited to see what this season is about to bring. We'll, we'll update y'all on the next download, see how it goes throughout. But yeah, we're going to watch the, we've seen the first episode. Or we haven't. Uh, we, we've seen the first episode of season four. Yes. I don't even know if the second episode is out yet. I'm pretty sure it is. We didn't watch it, it on came Sunday. Out yesterday. It should have came or out sun- Sunday. Sunday. My yeah, Sunday. yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep up. See how Logan and his crappy family are, are handling themselves. I'm watching Swarm with the Discord. Man. Oh, yeah. So far, man. What was your first impression? I know you weren't like there a lot. I don't know. I wasn't in the Discord. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> But you saw a little bit. Did I? You did. You were like, what the heck? And then you left. Because the guy, you saw the guy with his thing on the bowl. With ah, the st- yeah. That's why I left. That's all I saw. <laughs> the reason why it's called Swarm is because it's after the Bayhive. Beyonce. She's in, mm-hmm. This girl is based in, uh, I think she's in Houston, actually. And uh, she's obsessed with this, uh, with this person who's like Beyonce. Her, her name is Nyjah. The fan base is called The Swarm, and she has, like, a Twitter account with, like, hundreds of thousands of followers because she's, like, a fan account. And the show is basically a deep, dark dive into Dre's life, her fandom, and how it takes her to dark, unexpected places. That's literally, like, the synopsis. So So this this is all for these creators, basically. Kind of. It's also, but it's also for, like, the regular folk who just, you know, like, who simp. Or they stand. You know what I mean? Like the Bayhive. Like if you want to feel included or a part of something, like it's very easy to get sucked into these online communities. And what I love about Swarm, even in the first episode, it's already coming off kind of culty. Like it it feels like a cult. Mm -hmm. And black women in cults, you don't really see that. Like the, the main focus of the show as a black woman oh and uh to speak more on dre like clearly she has some sort of like mental inhibition or like she has she needs help like she needs some extra help and uh you can see in her mannerisms uh dominique fishback plays dre which you had you haven't seen i haven't seen dominique fishback in a while like in an acting capacity i just need to keep up with her her uh career but she did a wonderful job wonderful wonderful job it was wonderful seeing her again but yeah, take it, your word for it. I'm episode one and it all released on Prime Video. All the episodes are out. I'm gonna watch it. it it's fun, it's scary, creepy, but f- well, violent, but fun. So if you want to see something disturbing, which will make you uncomfortable, <laughs> definitely check it out. But uh, yeah, a show that I want to watch as well, The Power. That's coming out week by week. We got to watch yeah, that together. I do, do want to start watching. That. Yeah, we should watch it. I watched the first episode, but we should finish like the first three episodes together. Let's move on to our movies, which sadly we haven't really been watching movies. I mean, what movie did we see in March? Did we see mm. any movies? I don't. Yes, we did. What did we see? Because I forgot. Demon Slayer. <sighs> regrettably so but we already talked about it in anime so i'm gonna move on from that so the movies that came out i mean didn't the so wait we didn't see cocaine bear no we we want to see cocaine bear and we didn't see uh mario oh we but cocaine bear came out in february and sadly we haven't seen it yet but mario came out this month yeah so we i wasn't even going to talk about it but yeah whatever Eh. uh the little mermaid uh will come out next month i just can't avoid a time to say it i'm excited i don't care what y'all think the only complaint is that 
Ariel's love interest is in black as well. This really could have been a black affair. I mean, we... We talked about it. I know. I still think we, studios are we cowards. Haven't seen, so we saw Demon Slayer. Um, we haven't seen Creed 3. No, no. That, and we still got to see it. That came out this month. That came out this month. That came out in April? No, March. No, March. March. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we still haven't seen Creed. Shame mm -hmm. on us. I mean, it could have fit in the anime category from what I heard. <laughs> but yeah, we'll talk about that. And then um, Shazam. We didn't see that either. That came Sam, out this month. We didn't see the new the new Scream. I am not going to watch the new Scream movies. It, it did better than Shazam. <laughs> That's a low bar. Oh, in 65. Remember that trailer for 65, Adam Driver uh, and the uh, dinosaurs in the future oh, or the past yeah. or whatever? 65 million, right? Basically. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. John Wick, Chapter 4. Right, right. Did he do better than uh, The Matrix? Because I thought he was like the slow. The Matrix. Like his movement was slow in The Matrix, the new one. But I Apparently guess. Apparently it's good, it's good here. I yeah. think he just has more passion for this, I bet. Um, the D&D movie came out on the 31st. We didn't see that either. Bro, we are. We got to. We got to go do like a movie week. We got to do a marathon. We got to at mm -hmm. least see Cocaine Bear, D&D &D, and. Uh, Ooh, what was the one you just mentioned? I don't want to see Shazam. 65. I don't want to see 65. So maybe it's just, oh, Mario. Creed, Should we? Mario. Creed. So that's four. Should we see the Mario movie? I just feel like. I feel like we have to see it just because. We're... This is a preview for April. I'm sorry. It's it's it, it came out like literally yesterday. So I have to mention it. But um, yeah, no, I I just feel like the movie is amazing. It looks like amazing. And I'm sure the storyline and the structure is going to be great. The mm -hmm. only thing that's going to make me mad is Chris Pratt. That's yeah. it. So so because of that, because I need to put my petty stuff aside, I'll watch the movie. Yeah, and Jack Black offsets Chris Pratt. So. Yeah, of course. And really the whole cast, like the rest of the cast is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, maybe Luigi could have been more inventive, but I, I don't like know. Charlie Day, though. I will go watch the movie before I make any real uh judgments those are only my initial pre-judgments so unfortunately yeah that means we are about to head into our streamer news everything that popped off in march at least from what we could see from our little perch our little view mm. so the first thing that popped off which i hope i'm not like missing anything because this is like march 12th it's when kick started popping off and Jideon said delete the stream bro we don't want you banned and he was I think Jideon was watching someone stream and oh I think that was when he he was just he, scrolling he was scroll down he was scrolling. yeah he was scrolling down kick and he saw porn and yeah and, and he got upset about it and a lot of his own community because it tells you right there you know it tells you right there what type of community he has but well, i digress his community started being like oh you're being a punk i didn't know you were soft and he was like man you know it's not my goal in life to show porn to kids i got kid yeah. viewers like that's not you know that's just not cool and that's that's what that aiden ross guy got uh he didn't get into trouble he should have gone into he should have went to trial for that, honestly, or just at least <laughs> got some sort of fine because that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. I feel like somebody should have gone and sued him. Yeah, Truly. And then, I mean, the, recently they've taken to sending him or tricking him into watching videos of uh, his sister nude on stream. Oh, so. that's oh, y'all are. You know, like they'll send them a video in discord. It'll be a something else. And halfway through, bam, it pops up. You yeah, y'all are wild. That's yeah. why you should always scrub your videos. I scrub all the videos people send me before I just put it on my screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just even if you have to like just st like stare from the camera, just skim through it. It's not hard. It's not hard. I mean, especially especially at that level when when you all you have to do is literally just turn the camera on and you could do whatever and people will still watch. You can take the time to scrub your videos. So at that point, right. you just don't care. Yeah. Get out of here. So, of course, Angela Bassett didn't get the award for, uh, I think it was supporting or best performance, but Jamie Lee Curtis did. We vented on this. It's dumb. 
we talked it's more. Um, I I partially understand. I understand why, but it doesn't make the situation not dumb. I the don't understand why, why. I understand why. The reason is because, first of all, the Academy not only hates black folk. That's normal. That's normal, but that's not even really why, right? The real reason is because she was in a, <laughs> she was in a, she's a black person in a black movie <laughs> called Black Panther, which is, which is already an issue for them. And on top of that is also a Marvel movie. They don't like giving awards to Marvel movies because they don't see them as real cinema, right? And she wasn't the leading actress in that Marvel movie. So all of that, all that combined it. Yes, they're racist, obviously. But on top of that, being in a Marvel movie and all the other stuff also didn't help. I mean, you saw how everywhere, everything all at once was winning 20 different awards, right? Because that scene is like, oh, this is high quality cinema. So even if you're playing the joke character in this high quality cinema, they still see it as high quality cinema. That's why. And it sucks because performance wise, <laughs> Angela blew her out of the water. I'm sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis. I like Jamie Lee Curtis. But Jamie agreed. But but it's no but shade she ever. Her, she blew her out of the water. It's no like, shame ever to Jamie like, Lee oh, Curtis. Don't compare them. No, but that's what we're doing. That's it's what we're doing. Yeah. You're comparing them. And if you put the acting but side by side, remove the fact that it's a Marvel movie, remove the fact that it's a Black Panther movie, you just put their performances side by side. Angela Bassett stomped everyone out this year by far. So, like she yeah. does all the time. Yeah. All right, moving on. I you said you took the words out of my mouth. Can't add to that. Lance Reddick passed. Uh, it sucked. I honestly Bloody. couldn't believe it. Right. Yeah, that was just ridiculous. I mean, if you haven't seen like his works, uh, and of course he's been in several games as well, like Commander Destiny Zavala. 2. Yeah, he's Commander Zavala. So they did a nice vigil for him in the game, in the hub, uh, next to, you know, Commander Zavala, just to honor him. And I just, yeah, it was just wild. I've talked about it. It, it made me sad and I still can't even like believe it's real. It, it was just too soon. Just way too soon. But um, on top of that, as we move through the month of March, literally after the Ides of March, we saw that Emmett Shear, he went ahead and resigned from Twitch. That's the CEO, I believe. The Well, Emmett, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, Emmett just resigned. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Yeah, Emmett just resigned. He started in October 2006, so like 16 years later. Well, he he's he founded it basically. He's one of the Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. He he founded Twitch. So Justin TV on up and now he's done. So yeah, he's, he is the well he, he was part of the first group when they made it. He he's the last person who was still part of the original Twitch uh, yes. when, founders group when it started. And so now yeah. He's gone. Now it's the original faces are just about out. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of this is going to be a little Twitch focused. A lot's happened in March on Twitch. So let's keep it trucking. Uh, yeah. Then, like, on the 20th of March, they had a big blog update about their workforce where they uh, they fired 400 people. And we got to see that just fall apart on twitter people twitch staff mostly just you know LinkedIn. sending out their condolences especially on linkedin it definitely affected us in some in some capacity it was wild to see very wild to see but on top of that uh rooster teeth changed their logo made it really simple honestly y'all decide if you like it or not it's a Interesting change. I don't like seeing logos simplify. I think it's okay to have some flair, some uh, complexity. So we'll see how people embrace this. And then, of course, the TikTok uh, congressional hearings. Hilarious. We got to see Congress. <laughs> or I'm sorry, we got to see the Supreme Court basically show how inept they are with technology. So... Yeah, it was great. That was bad. It was yeah. it was bad. Uh, I'm sure you guys were seeing all the moments on TikTok, so we won't we won't hold hold you up on that. Oh, uh, yeah, March 25th, Jonathan Majors. <laughs> it was charged with strangulation, assault, and harassment. Arrested on charges of that was yo. 
He did it. Okay, well, I'm not going to jump to some uh, major conclusions until I see some cold hard mm, evidence. I see what you it, did. It has not been good. There. I see what you did. Okay. You said I'm not going to jump to any major conclusions. Yeah, okay. So, mm. glad you caught my joke. But, like, it's just, it was really annoying seeing all the people hop up and be like, see, y'all don't even have real evidence. Look at how people hop on men when there's, they said that her, uh, that her uh, complaint, uh, her report was fake. But the stuff that they've been posting has made me think otherwise. It looks like, like there's a possibility of intimidation. And no, I do not want to believe the worst of Jonathan Majors, but you also have to sit back and understand you don't know. So yes, it is possible that he could be a horrible hu human being. The worst thing that could happen here is a person who was abusing someone does not get caught. Like that's the worst thing that could happen. Sure, you might be like, oh, well, yeah, maybe he's labeled as an abuse. He will be fine. He will be rich. Stay rich. He will be fine. What's the worst thing that could happen is he could be an abusive person and he could hurt this person. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. But I'm going to speed run the rest of these. Um, of course, we saw Kai Sinat get his uh, Twitch shoes. And they do this. They do this with all of uh, their top streamers who get nah, the most they subs. Don't. They do. No, they do. They no, no. They sent XQC they, shoes. No, they do. They do something. They send them shoes. They didn't do what they did with Kai. Kai's shoes were ridiculous. Kai's yeah. shoes were ridiculous. They were very ridiculous. You can you can see it for yourself. Um, Elon Musk said that starting April 15th, only verified accounts, accounts will be eligible to be in for you recommendations on Twitter. So it's real. And uh, he also recently made it to where you can't tell if it's a legacy account or a Twitter blue account when you. <laughs> so I guess I'm a, I'm ambiguous now. I, I do pay for Twitter blue for the bookmarks, but now you can't tell if I'm legacy or it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then, uh, of course, AI has everybody in a tizzy. Yep. Uh, <laughs> AI has we're been. We're going to have to make a whole video on that. We're, we are. We are. We have a TikTok here about this guy making uh, Kanye sing some uh, or replace his vocals in AI. So y'all tell us what you think. Uh, we actually have to do a whole. Yeah, we do have to do a whole video on that because I have opinions on uh that one group that did that that anime that rock paper scissors anime and people gave it a lot of heat and i don't i feel like it was ridiculous how much heat y'all put on that group but there's a scamboli video that basically summed it up for us we'll link that there and then our final uh that was our yeah that was our final streamer news and review wow march spicy month Good. yeah very spicy month. But uh, it was nice talking to you guys. I'm Chelsea Bites, a tech-based content creator on this channel who likes to talk about anything and everything and build some computers on the side. You can catch me on Twitch. You should follow. We do events every week. And we are gearing up to some wild stuff. Also, catch me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, as long as those platforms last. And Mango, what you up to this That's month? That's it. I'm working. Still working. <laughs> That's thanks, all I got. thanks guys for watching because that's all we got we'll catch you next time bye bye